Hi everyone, welcome back to one of our RESTful Clouds where today we're demonstrating another connector service affectionately known as the REST call. It's an external REST call, not only JD Edwards, but you can call any REST services in the world, whatever services are provided by JD Edwards Enterprise One, or a third party ERP, or a bank, or whatever is available. Therefore, JDE can use Orchestrator Connector Service to access any external data that is made available. It's exciting, isn't it? The best way to show you this concept quickly is with an example that we've created. We're going to show you how to automate the E1 Health Checkup using an Orchestrator Connector REST call. This tiny corner of this immense guide that we're showing you now will focus on the concept and the steps of how to configure it. Shown here is the Health Checkup Summary. This should work first in the server manager and then only you can use an external REST call from the outside. Here's the overview of what's going to happen. The AIS scheduler is running in the background and at the predetermined time it runs the health checkup by calling the E1 orchestration. And within the E1 orchestration you have the connector service, the subject of this video, which calls the external server manager REST API which performs the health check and after that the orchestration calls the message service that determines which email address to send the health checkup report to. So let's try and test this and see how we get the email notification. Let's click the run button and see what happens. So the health checkups have run and we check our email and yes we have the results of the health checks in our email. We can do a health checkup at any time without manual interruption to verify that all our services are working properly. You can configure it to only send a notification upon failure if you wish. For this test we printed the result of each instance separately and you can see past, past, etc. and if there was a failure it would show here also. Also in 924 you can auto start your jobs. So whenever the AIS services come up even your automated jobs will be started. So you'll be using the AIS scheduler interface to make this happen. Everything you need is mentioned in the guide. And if you miss a step, you can always email us your logs and we'll tell you where you went wrong. And if that doesn't work, you also have three free service calls of up to one hour each to get you back on track. The more servers you have, the more time and money this automation will save you. And let's say you have a new resource or a holiday fill-in to do your health checks. Now it's automatic. You don't even have to worry about this. It can be done while you're sleeping and the reports are ready for you in the morning. And keep in mind, this is only the health check. You can do this for any repetitive job. If you look for labor-intensive repetitive jobs in your organization, you'll find them. And you'll be able to apply connector services to save time and money. This guide will make you money and end up costing you nothing. It sells for $499 USD. If you'd like to join the ranks of smart CNC's, this is the one guide you should have. Just drop an email to info at restfulclouds.com to request your copy of Orchestrator Complete Reference. That's all for now. Bye bye.